Hey gang, Shark Schlock Week, Spring Break Edition, keeps going and going and going with a review of the movie Damn Sharks. Why there's an exclamation point at the end of this title, I have no idea, but maybe it was meant to be titled something else, or spelled a different way, but, well... There's some reasons why this movie is called what it is, but we'll get to that here in a minute. So, a park ranger and a fisherman, the park ranger's named Kate and the fisherman's named Carl, discover that there are sharks in a river. There is no explanation as to why. It's just, they're just there. They think that somehow they got there from the ocean, which is supposed to be about 150 miles away, and why are they there in that river? To build a dam. Yeah. Out of tree limbs and sticks and their victims. There's also a subplot involving a bunch of office workers who are going a who are going a weekend survival outing, but of course they become shark bait too. So, so it's down to Kate, Carl, Pullman, and Stella to try to take care of these sharks once once and for all. Unfortunately, one of them gets Carl, so it's down to Kate, and Stella, and Pullman. And Stella winds up uh, shooting a loaded arrow at a couple of tanks that they somehow launch towards the a second dam that the sharks build. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And they blow it up. And they think it's all over with until another shark is seen swimming around. It tries to jump out at him, but Pullman gets it with an axe and and then Kate winds up finding uh, Carl's hat and they wind up going upstream, thinking the whole thing is over with, but nope. There's another shark swimming underneath the river. So, why did this movie suck? Oh, goodness. I wrote down a list. Uh, the first part of the movie has some random woman jumping into the river and a shark gets her. We don't know who she is. We have no idea. In fact, this happened several times. There are several people in the movie that you barely even know and the sharks attack. Um... And there were some likable characters in the movie, and they get they, they get taken out by the sharks, which I thought was kind of unfortunate. Um, there was one dude named Kenny who's a real who's a real annoying doofus in this movie. Um, he tries to flirt with uh, the boss's assistant of the retreat. Um, her name is Jolene. They, they kind of make eye contact. He's wearing shades, takes off one pair of shades, and has another pair of shades underneath it. And I go, yeah, smooth, dude. Um, and when the sharks got him, I said, I said, oh, my God, they killed Kenny. And nobody was here to, to finish off that sentence. Darn it. But that's okay. Um, uh, there's, uh, there's one point where, uh, where the corporate team is is rowing along. They see the shark fins right in front of them, but yet they don't notice them until it's pretty much too late. Uh, there's almost like a free willy moment with one of the sharks as it comes up out of the water in slow motion, and it's like, wow, unbelievable. Uh, Stella actually uses the line, the infamous line, that uh, Roy Scheider used in Jaws to take out one of the sharks using a bow and arrow, a loaded bow and arrow that caused an accident. Yeah. Uh, there's at one point in the movie where they kind of use what sounds like a really bad knockoff of the Jaws theme. Um, 
let's see. Uh, the, yeah, the. It really kills me how the sharks are building a dam. That that to me is like, why are they doing that for? They blow up one, another one gets built. It's like, okay. Um. Uh, Carl at one point says this is like a bad movie and I'm thinking yeah you're not kidding there, there Carl um, there's a Sharknado weak reference in the movie oh so much so much of this stuff and there are action close up scenes too so that got kind of annoying too so Yeah, so uh, so many more reasons why, but if you want to check it out, please do, or don't. <laughs> and if you have seen it, love to hear from you guys in the comments below what you thought about this one. But there you guys have it, a review of Damn Sharks. If you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, fantasy horror movie that sounded like it had a cuss word in it, but it was maybe more like a pun in a, in a way, kind of make it sound like it was more clean than anything, send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay strong, rock on.